Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dahlia. So today I came with a new video for this week. Yes, I am not in my room. I wrote Egypt right now. So that's why I didn't post like the last month because I was getting ready and doing my luggage and everything. So right now I'm in Cairo. I'm at my grandparents' house and it's hot. <laughs> it's like I think over 40 degrees, but you know, it's dry so we're good. I'm still fasting because it's the last day and tomorrow it's Aid. So I cannot wait because we have those little pastries that we eat during Aid and they're delicious. We have three kinds, the kahk, the bitsfor, and the biscuit, which is all different types of cookies that we eat during Aid. And they're delicious, like I said, and I wanna eat them and I'm waiting for tomorrow to have them, obviously. I'm gonna be naming for you five things I saw in the first week that I have been here. So there's a little bit different things, but they're all good. So the first thing that I saw when I arrived, just by getting out of the airport, it was, it is hot. I like I, I was, said. it was maybe like over 40 degrees when I arrived. But the good thing about it is it's dry compared to Montreal or maybe any other places. It's not humid. So you don't feel like the sweat coming out of your back and that your clothes feel sticky. So you just feel hot, but without the sticky part. The second thing is that there is a lot, and I mean a lot, of people. Just in Cairo, there's I don't know how many millions, and the traffic were probably like whoever lives in the US, New York traffic, there was a lot. But the driving is different, but there was a lot. And it was long too. And even though it's not filled with people right now because, you know, we're still fasting, it's the morning. At night, it's completely different. There's more people the night than there is in the morning because even the stores, they can open up uh, until after midnight, which is different in other countries. Like at night, like it for us in Montreal, at nine o'clock, the store is closed. You cannot do anything unless you want to go like to Tim Hortons or McDonald's, which are open 24 hours. Different. The third thing that I see, it's the coffee places. We have a lot of them. And I think I even have one. I wish I could show you, but I, I can't because it's a little bit far, but I think there's just right, right there on the corner. So they do have this uh, thing that they take a part of, uh, you know, the sidewalk, but it's like a terrace without a fence, like uh, back home. So there's a lot of coffee places, maybe like one at each corner of every street. So people who want to smoke hookah or shisha from Montreal, uh, have any kind of drink, which is mostly here, like not the, the coffee that we usually have, like this. Turkish coffee or tea, and even cold beverages. There's a lot like mango milkshakes, uh, anything like 7up to Pepsi. We have those here too. And even more drinks that I don't know about the back home, from back home. The fourth thing that I see as well here that I don't have is uh, like obviously when you're in a Muslim country you have we have to pray it's uh, something called the Aden which is uh, the Sheikh which is like uh, the person that prays with you says the Aden in the megaphone so you hear it throughout the whole country and there's more than one so there's a lot going on at the same time exactly at the same time like the prayers at one time and it's on that time you'll hear it. and the people who want to go pray in the mosque they will obviously get out of their house and go so it's a good thing and the fifth thing that there I saw as a lot as well was there's a lot of stores like right on my street right there there's a lot of clothing stores shoes even the things for the hijabis because they wear the hijab here obviously i don't have to because i'm not wearing it but anyone who wears it will have who can go into the store and get something so there's a lot of clothing stores there's a lot of shoes and and mostly why people are a lot in the street it's because aid is tomorrow so they need to shop for new clothes for either them or the kids that's why it's mostly busy as well and it probably will be more busy today because it's the last day and people go get ready at last minute some of them but generally, with all this, it's a really beautiful country. I would suggest that 
no anyone who didn't come should come and visit it even i'm in cairo obviously the capital of egypt and it's so beautiful i love coming here every some years because i don't go every year but it's always the same for me i will go anytime i could and it's a nice place to visit and not just for the pyramids i mean because i will be filming the pyramids if i can but not just the pyramid to visit it's also like a nice place to go and see and obviously since it's summer there there's a lot of tourists as well so it's not just the people of the country that makes it a, having a lot of people so this is it for this week's video like and subscribe to my channel because i do make weekly videos also follow me on instagram and twitter i'll be posting that in the description down below and follow me on this journey because i will be filming anywhere i can go and visit i'll be posting a video and also sorry if it takes a little bit more time the let's say the internet is not at, at its best but i'll be trying to post every once i can so bye guys see you soon